I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. pretty cool we're over there packing up camp and I start hearing noises over here at the lock and it's actually working we're seeing a boat come through here so how many boats a day come through here uh, let's see this time of year three or four. Oh, that's it okay this is a slow time after Labor Day they'll start heading back it's fun to see this thing come to life Wow, so these are the original photos. From 1914, 1916. This is this lock, lock 20. 1915. All right, we are all packed up, ready to go. And it's crazy to think about this, but we only have three riding days to get to New Paltz and then another day to New York. So four days left of riding. For so long, the trip has been like, oh, we're so far from New York. We're in Oregon, we're in Idaho, we're in Wyoming. Or- New York seemed like it was impossible. Now we're really, really close. It feels amazing. It's mixed feelings. It's really, really exciting to be getting so close to, to New York and to the end of the trip because it's, you know, it's a big thing to bike all the way across the country. But it's also kind of sad. I don't know what I'm going to do when I wake up in the morning and I'm not going out to ride my bike. And it's going to be sad to be sleeping inside all the time again. Um, So it's, yeah, it's mixed feelings. This has been such an incredible experience. Some parts of the canal path look like you're riding through a fairy tale. And this is definitely one of them. <laughs> there we go. Let's go a little bit faster. So if faster we're not gonna fall over. Uh, oh fuck! <laughs> we're so close. Okay, we got this. We got this. Oh, we did it! Did our first riding kiss, and we're very excited about it. We've been talking about it since day one, and we just haven't, you know, thought it was a good idea because we didn't want to crash and break our bikes or break our bodies. But now we're so close to the goal, we're like, let's give it a shot. We did it. We rolled and we touched tongues. It was beautiful. We camped at a lock yesterday. This is also a lock, but it is gigantic. Yeah, there's a lock over there, and then we have a giant dam here. The dam is making a lot of noise. Dam. It's almost like we have a waterfall, except it's actually a dam. Yeah. Thank you, Planet Earth, for another beautiful day. last day on the Erie Canal Trail and it has been such an incredible trail. We're going to be sad to leave it and we are going to keep on going down to New Paltz, spend a couple days with my family before making the final 100 mile push down to the city. Oh, Erie Canal Trail. 
We will miss you. This has been an absolute dream. We have made it to Albany, the capital of New York, and it is really pretty. We are crossing the Hudson River now. Gonna head down the Hudson for a little bit, head straight south toward New Paltz. It's kind of surreal to be this close. We are celebrating our arrival on the Hudson River with a little bit of chocolate fudge brownie. They didn't have fish food. So close to your hometown. We are, yeah. It's gonna be awesome to see my family. You know what we're doing right now? Something we haven't done in a long time. Riding up a hill. <laughs> We've been on rail trails for the past 500 miles. And before that, like just flat farmland. This is the first hills we felt in a while. It's good. Allie, explain what's going on here. Well, our new friends Patty and Connie um, came down with... Some, we've been stalking you for the past two months. We've been stalking <laughs> us for two months. Brought us down this amazing feast. Since you were complaining in one of your Midwestern towns that you didn't have beans. So what would make you want to drive two hours to find us? Because your adventures are Thing, something we've always wanted to do, but we work all the time. And you don't have to. We can't take two months off or three months off to have fun like you guys did. I'm retiring next year, so it's given me ideas. I have a friend that's my, well, she's around 10 years younger than I am, but my other friend is retiring also. And your Cuba trip, we want to go to Cuba. So this is how you do it? You, you use that camera? Yeah, this is how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it happens. <laughs> All I do is hold up this camera and put it on YouTube. Wow, this food looks incredible. Can't thank you enough for the effort you put oh into this. Oh my god. Let's have a cheers to new cheers. friends and new adventures. And making and it. This right here is the definition of road magic. You know, we're here in the city park in the middle of nowhere. Patty contacts us on Instagram and says, hey, I'd love to come meet you. She drives two hours, brings us a meal, and now we have a new friend. And uh, life is beautiful. That was really special. And two incredible women, too. Yeah, absolutely. We they... got to hear all their stories and life. And they want to get after it. Yeah. And I love it. People who want to get after it are, are my kind of people. Yeah, such a sense of adventure. And I mean, it's adventurous coming out here. It was such a special Yeah, evening. she made this special taco salad and brought all of our favorite stuff. And she's like, Ryan, I know you don't drink, so here's a root beer. And she really paid attention so to detail. So ah, this is. This is a great last night before New Paltz. Yeah, it's the reminder, just reinforcement of all the beautiful things that we've been remembering, recalling, learning about, about our fellow humans out here, yep. about how the amazing people that we're surrounded by. Last night we met up with Patty and Connie in a city park and when they left it was dark so we hid ourselves in this little cubby hole over here. And it's wet. It's like a swamp. Time for the cuddle monster. Yeah, it's the last day. Go to New Paul's. We do not smell very good. We are sticky. Gotta look good for Allie's family. We're riding to your hometown today. How do you feel about that? I am super excited for us to be cruising towards New Paltz. Uh, we're gonna be riding in on the rail trail where I learned to ride a bike, and that used to be my major mode of transportation to like my friends' houses and into town and stuff because I didn't have a car, so I biked there on the rail trail. It really does feel like home to be in a place that's just so fertile and so green and so lush and the rolling old hills and the old Victorian architecture. I just love the 
beautiful buildings. My family is amazing. There's a lot of them and it is so much fun when we're all together. Back over the Hudson River. Look at that big river. We have made it to the last 20 miles of trail into New Paltz, and that is my beloved rail trail. It's got black dirt, which is different than any of the other rail trails that we've ridden on. Um, and here to greet us is my brother-in-law, Jason. Yeah! And he's going to ride this last 20 miles into town with us. And we're going to go by my childhood home. We're going to go by actually three homes that I lived in once upon a time. Um, and it'll take us all the way into New Falls. Haven't been home in a year. And gosh, I pretty much never introduced boys to them. So. There are these really cool caves in this area. A lot of the area has been mined out for the limestone, but some of the trails grow through the caves and we used to throw some raging parties in the caves. Bands would come and play in them and they'd be like these crazy rave things. It was really fun. Hello! These are the people who I grew up with. This is a small part of my family. <laughs> the beginning of my family. Um, Diane was my neighbor growing up, still lives here. Yep. Elaine's my godmother, and Bruce is uh, one of my, probably one of my fathers. Where are your dad? <laughs> Allie, where are we going to go now? We're going to go on a little tour of where I grew up. So my stepfather named this road after me because well, I lived in both the houses. My mom built a house on this road and my father built a house on this road. My mom and my stepdad built this when I was about 10 and my mom made the garden as big as the house. So when I was just a sparkle in my daddy's eye, my parents decided to get together with a group of friends, six families, and buy this property. They bought 200 acres and most of that was communal land, but each family got a couple acres for their own private plot. Um, so a lot of the people who created this community together are still here. This is the first house that I lived in here and my mother and my father built it together and it is still a really special place for me. This land will always feel like home to me. The community here, the people, the cliffs, the pond, the river, all the houses that I lived in, officially and unofficially. But again, most importantly, the people. It'll always feel like home, no matter how long I'm away. When I come back, it's still my land. <laughs> Welcome to my brother Wyatt's house. We're here for a big family celebration. And though my family is really tight, there's not a lot of opportunities for us all to get together like this because my mom and my dad and my sister live in Colorado, so do I. So they're all here and we are going to have a super fun time tonight before we do the last hundred miles into the city. Well you guys should recognize this one. This is my mother. How's it feel to see us at the end of the trip? I am very happy but it's not quite the end. You've got a hundred miles and I keep my fingers crossed and say my prayers every morning. No crashes, no smashes, no flatties. You got to make it that hundred miles, get that wheel in the Atlantic Ocean and then I'll relax a little more. So we have to finish quickly so my mom doesn't die of anxiety is what she's saying. 
<laughs> Who is this lovely Who lady? Who am I, Allie? This is my sister, Jessie. Oh, no. This is my Aunt Mary Ellen, and she was one of the first people who greeted me when I came into this world. That's true. <laughs> These are some of my nieces and nephews and some other ones. We just acquire kids in this family. Hey, guys! Say hi! Hi! <laughs> Can we introduce you on camera, Dad? Am I, am I presentable? I'm, I'm getting you presentable. You may recognize this one. This is my very own father, Peter. Yeah, I think the one and only. The one and only. <laughs> what would make you want to drive three full days to New York to come and see Ali uh, in New Paltz? Well, um, so I had to see the end of the trip. The, uh, you know, it's, a, it's such a, an amazing adventure. Size order. Oh, oh size order. <laughs> Wait a second, I should be on the I'm Oh tallest. no, Leah's taller. <laughs> These are my very own sisters. <laughs> Leah, Shiloh, and Jesse. And you can tell that we're sisters because we all have the same tattoo. Oh, oh. I have to take my pants off. <laughs> well, that's okay. You have to take your pants off? There we go, look at that. Awesome. She's your little baby sister. Yeah. Yep, and, and I cried every no time more. I watched one of the films. <laughs> I cried every single time. Sorry, I keep stepping on your toes. Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's such an amazing experience. It's an amazing experience for you and Ryan to do together. You know, like n most people never have an experience like that together. It's really interesting. But if there's anyone who's going to do it, it's going to be Ali. Yeah, Ali. If there's anyone who says, would you actually like to bike? from one coast to another like of us in two say. weeks she'd be like sure yeah that's fine <laughs> most other of us probably wouldn't have made that decision so we weren't surprised yeah but we're no. so happy and so yeah. proud of us <sighs> nice job look at that you're flying like a monkey there's nothing i love more in life than launching kids on swings <laughs> it brings joy to them and to me right <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Wyatt. <laughs> this is my dear sister-in-law, Marissa. Thanks for having us. <laughs> you are so welcome. Here we have my brother, Morgan, and my sister-in-law, Megan, and I hardly ever get to see these two, so this is a very special occasion. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so my family loves good food, and we love to eat. So whenever we get together, a big gathering like this, everyone will bring a dish and usually it's made with the local fresh ingredients that they can find it's maybe from their garden and it turns into a big gourmet party What's going on here ladies we have our special cake, cake here yeah. how long did it take you to make that two days two days yeah. and what what are all the ingredients and what's it called um it's a chocolate truffle strawberry cake yeah oh. 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 Happy bike ride, dear Ryan and Alan. Happy bike ride to you. Thank you all so much for being here. It is so, so wonderful to see all the friends and family. I miss you guys like crazy, and I just can't tell you how special it is to be here at the end of this like crazy journey and coming back home. <laughs> That cake was good. <laughs> it's been really fun to get to know your whole family and spend some time here in New Paltz. Thank you for letting me uh, be part of your family. Yeah, well, thanks for, for coming here and spending time with them. I really yeah. can't tell you how much it's meant to me to have a few days here just to like chill and relax and introduce you to them so you can know, yeah. you know what you're getting into. <laughs> <laughs> totally. God, this trip has been so long and so short in so many ways, but we have one night we wake up tomorrow and we have 100 miles exactly to New York City, our final day of riding. We got this. No crashies, no whammies, no, no flatties, flatties, no flatties. <laughs> Mwah.